Leviticus chapter 25, Holman Christian Standard Bible. The Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai. Speak to the Israelites and tell them, when you enter the land I am giving you, the land will observe a Sabbath to the Lord. You may sow on your field for six years, and you may prune your vineyard and gather its produce for six years. But there will be a Sabbath of complete rest for the land in the seventh year, a Sabbath to the Lord. You are not to sow your field or prune your vineyard. You are not to reap what grows by your not to reap what goes by itself from your crop or the harvest the grapes of, the, of your untended vines. It must be a year of complete rest for the land. Whatever the land produces during the Sabbath year can be food for you, for yourself, your male or female slave, and the hired hand or foreigner who stays with you. All the growth may serve as food for your livestock and for the wild animals in your land. You are to count seven sabbatical years, seven times seven years, so that the time of the period of the seven sabbatical years amounts to 49. Then you are to sound a trumpet loudly in the seventh month. On the tenth day of the month, you will sound it throughout your land in the Day of Atonement. You are to concentrate, consecrate the fiftieth year and proclaim freedom in the land for all of its inhabitants. You are to claim it will be your jubilee, where each of you is to return to his property and each of you is to, to his clan. The fiftieth year will, is to be your jubilee. You are not to sow, reap what grows by itself, or harvest its un, untended vines. It will be holy to you because of, it is a jubilee. You may eat only its, the produce directly from the field. In the year of jubilee, each of you will return to his property. If you make a sale to your neighbor or purchase from him, do not cheat one another. You are to make the purchase from your neighbor based on the number of years since the last jubilee. He is to sell you, sell to you based on the number of remaining harvest years. You are to increase its price in proportion to the greater amount of years and de decrease its price in proportion to the lesser amount of years because he, what he is selling you is the number of harvests. You are not to cheat one another, but fear your God, for I am Yahweh, your God. You are to keep my statutes and ordinances and carefully observe them so that you may live securely in the land. Then the land will yield its fruit so that you can eat, be satisfied, and live securely in the land. If you wonder, what will we eat in the seventh year if we don't sell or gather our produce? I will appoint my blessing for you in the sixth year so that it will produce a crop sufficient for three years. When you sow in the eighth year, you will be eating from the precious previous harvest. You will be eating this until the ninth year when the harvest comes in. The land is not to be permanently sold because it is mine, and you are the only foreigners and temporary residents on my land. You are to allow the redemption of any land you occupy. If your brother becomes destitute and sells a part of his property, his nearest relative may come and redeem what his brother has sold. If a man has no family redeemer, redeemer but he prospers and attains enough to redeem his land, he may calculate the years since his sale, repay the balance of the man he sold it to, and return to his property. But if he cannot gain enough to repay him, what he has sold will remain in the possession of his purchaser until the year of Jubilee. It is to be released at the Jubilee so that he may return to his property. If a man sells a residence in a walled city, his right of redemption will last until a year has passed after its sale. His right of redemption will last a year. If it is not redeemed by the end of the full year, then the house of the walled city is permanently transferred to its purchaser throughout its generations. It is not to be released on the Jubilee. But houses and villages that have no walls around them are to be classified as open fields. The right to redeem such houses stays in effect, and they are to be released at the Jubilee. Concerning the, Levit the Levitical cities, the Levites always have the right to redeem houses in cities they possess. Whatever property one of the Levites can redeem, a house sold in a the city they possess, must be released at the Jubilee because the houses of, in the Levitical cities are their position among the Israelites. The open pasture land around their cities may not be sold, for it is their permanent possession. If your brother becomes destitute and cannot sustain himself among you, you are to support him as a foreigner or a temporary resident, so that he can continue to live among you. Do not take profit or interest from him, but fear your Lord your God. Let your brother live among you. You are not to lend your silver with interest or sell him your food for profit. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan and to be your God. If your brother among you becomes destitute and sells himself to you, you must not force him to do labor, slave labor. Let him stay with you as a hired hand or a temporary resident. He may work with you until the year of Jubilee. Then he and his children are to be released from you and may return to his clan and his ancestral property. They are not to be sold as slaves because they are my slaves that I brought out of the land of Egypt. You are not to rule over them harshly, but to fear, the, fear your God. Your male and female slaves are to be from the nations around you. You may purchase male and female slaves. You may also purchase them from the foreigners staying with you or from their families living among you, those born in your land. These may become your property. You may leave them to your sons 
After you inherit them as a property, you can make them slaves for life. But concerning your brothers, the Israelites, you must not rule over them. You must not rule over one another harshly. If a foreigner or temporary resident among you, living among you prospers, but your brother living near him becomes destitute and sells himself to a foreigner living among you or to a member of the foreigner's clan, he has the right of redemption after he has been sold. One of his brothers may redeem him. His uncle or cousin may, may redeem him, or any of his close relatives from his clan may redeem him. If he prospers, he may redeem himself. The one who purchased him is to calculate the time from the year he sold himself until the year of Jubilee. The price of his sale will be determined by the number of years that will be set out, set for him like the daily wages of a hired hand. If many years are still left, he must pay his redemption price in proportion to them based on the purchase price. If only a few years remain until the year of Jubilee, he will recalculate the, and pay the price of his redemption in proportion to his remaining years. He will stay with him like a man hired year by year. A foreign owner is not to rule over him in a harsh, harshly in your sight. If he is not redeemed in any of these ways, he and his children are to be released in the year of Jubilee. For the Israelites are my slaves. They are my slaves that I brought out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God.